Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about panning. Once again, I feel like it's my favorite subject here on my channel. But I filmed a couple videos recently where I was talking about products that I wanted to pan this year as part of my rolling five product style project pan. And I realized that there are videos out there like planning to pan videos. Sarah Rose is someone that I watched I think the last two years and I really enjoyed those and I was kind of talking about what I was planning to pan in the last couple videos that I've posted and so I figured let's just put out a formal one because I think that they're interesting and you can kind of see what I am hoping to roll into my project pan this year and hopefully I can focus on and finish up if I have the opportunity to. So I have a, a little pile of products over here that I am going to talk through now and these like I said are my goal products that I hope to be able to roll into my project pan and finish up this year. So I'm first going to start with base. I actually have two products because I'm not 100% sure which one I want to roll into the project pan. The first is my Oma Beauty Say What foundation and then the other one is my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I love both of them but the, I'm about I feel like halfway through on both and so I'd like to spend some time focusing probably on one of them this year to finish it up and they're around the same like color and it's more of like my tan summer color on, or if I'm self tanned it's my shade as well and I usually tend to mix these with some other foundations if I am a bit paler and I love both of them so really it, I don't it's not like I would want to like necessarily get rid of one of them but I've had both of these in my collection for a while now and so I think it would definitely make sense to focus on at least one of them and finish it up I mean goal would be to use up both of them but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that this year Next is my Florence by Mills Zero Chill Face Mist. So let's check out the mist on this because I always think that's fun. It's pretty good. I've used this product a bit, but honestly, as you can probably tell, I haven't used it that much. It's just not one of the setting sprays I normally gravitate to. And so then it just sits in my collection and that doesn't make any sense to me. That's actually why I'm panning the setting spray I'm panning right now, the Kiko Milano one, because it was just kind of sitting around in my collection and I feel very similar about like that to this one and so I was like okay this one will be next I'll focus on this one next after I finish up the Kika Milano one hopefully so this is definitely something that I want to pan this year there's obviously a lot of product in here so I feel like this one would be one that will take me the majority of the year to finish up depending on when I roll it into my project next is face powder so if you watched my all the products I have hit pan on this was in that video and this was one of the products that actually inspired me to film this video because I have a pretty decent pan in this and I was able to get that like really quickly and I think this is a great powder but I moved this into like a travel bag and I really haven't used it and I was like okay there's no point of it just sitting in that bag I'm not going anywhere so I might as well just try and finish it up and use it so I think this will be definitely one of the products that I move into my rolling style project pan and hopefully we'll finish this year. This eyeshadow primer follows the same suit as the IT Cosmetics powder and that's because again I moved it into this travel makeup bag for like weekend trips to my in-laws which happen I don't know not that often and, and I just haven't used it and I've been using another one but now I have two like basically half finished eye primers and so I think this is something that I'm going to want to focus on this year just to finish it up. There's no point of just having it sit around and also I don't need to just regular eye primers because I can if I need to travel I can just switch the one I'm using into my travel bag so this is something I definitely want to use up. It's a good primer and actually I might be even further along in it than halfway. I feel like I have a pretty good dent going in this so hopefully it won't take me too long to finish up. I use eye primer every time I do makeup but again I use such little amounts because my eyelid space is not that big that it does take me a really long time to finish a primer up. I have one eyeshadow I want to focus on or I want to pan this year and this is the Makeup Geek Creme Brulee eyeshadow. As you can see I have a huge pan in this and I've panned this before and then just kind of stopped using it because I started focusing on other shadows and so to leave it like this close to being done but not actually use it on a regular basis just feels so wrong and so as I was going through my collection I was like okay. This is one that I need to roll into my project pan and just 
finish it up this year. It's a super easy shadow to use because it's just like the perfect transition shade and so you can use it pretty much every time you do your eye makeup and so I do have actually like two shades right now that are pretty good transition shades in my pan those eyeshadows. So I think once hopefully I hit pan on both of those like I'll be able to move this into my project pan because I feel like it's rare you get like crease shades in your pan those eyeshadows and so this would be the perfect like addition to those five shades that's kind of how i'm hoping all of this works out that's like ideal scenario but it seems to like make sense in my head so hopefully that's what we can make happen this year and i can finish that shadow up once and for all and have a finished eyeshadow which i think would be totally badass for project panning purposes so i would just really love to be able to do that this year Next, I have two blush products, which I think is a bit of a stretch, to be honest, but I don't know if I'm going to move, like, both of them in or just one or whatever, but right now I'm kind of debating between both of these. So the first is this NARS blush, and the second is this... It's called Romance from Makeup Geek. And they're very similar shades, with so the pink with the gold flecks, and they both have pan on them. And so I don't know which one I would wanna focus on or if I could focus on both and finish them up. I feel like there's still a lot of product in both, so I think that would be, especially because I'm not panning one of them right now, I think that would be a little bit of much, but you never know, right? So let's not. <laughs> Let's not always already count it out. Like that's not a good positive attitude to have about these. So what I'm gonna say is I would certainly like to at least focus on one of them this year in my project pan. I don't know which one that is yet and I also don't know how far I'll get with it, but hopefully I'll be able to make good progress no matter what. And then the last category is lip products. So again, a product that inspired this video was during my makeup collection video, which you ha if you haven't watched that, go check it out, where I was talking about how I had lip liners and I had six lip liners in my collection, but I never use lip liners. And then I was like, well, that doesn't make sense. Why have six things in your makeup collection that you literally never use other than and occasionally a red lip liner when I'm wearing a red lip, which is not that often. So I was like, okay, well maybe what I should do is instead of writing off lip liners, which I basically have been doing, is actually put one in my project pan and really get an understanding of, do I just not like lip liners or I just don't know how to use them or I just don't use them enough. And so again, this lip liners and the it cosmetics powder were definitely the inspiration products behind this video and so i was looking at my collection and i have four what i would call like neutral lip liners two are by bv beauty vault so these two i think they came in a boxy charm and then i have one by carly bible and il maquillage it was like they did a collab and then I have this other one from Kiko Milano. So I have these four and they're all neutral. So I think what I will end up doing is picking one of these and working through it, which I think would be really cool to do because I've never done that with a lip liner before. Cause like I said, I don't wear them. And so I think that'll really let me know if my lack of usage on lip liners is really because I don't like them or just something else that I just need to discover for myself. So. I'm super excited to be able to roll one of these in and actually give it some use. And then the last product is a lipstick and it's a bullet lipstick. So that's always a little bit of a lofty goal because I feel like bullet lipsticks are really, really difficult to finish. But this one has quite a lot of usage on it. This is Make Me Pink by Maybelline. I actually hemmed and hawed about putting this in this video and or putting it into a project pan at all because Maybelline doesn't make this shade anymore and this was my shade for the longest time. I mean, look how far I've gotten in it. And I've made this much progress in this lipstick without even trying to pan it. So that tells you how much I like it. And so I really debated if like, I would wanna like finish this up and use it because they don't make it anymore. But I was like just holding on to it to hold on to it and using it like once every like couple months because of whatever reason doesn't really make sense and at the end of the day while I really love this shade I'm sure I can find something pretty close to it and be perfectly happy with that shade as well like I don't think my like lipstick game will be over forever if I finish this up and can't find a replacement that being said I would love for Maybelline to make this still but unfortunately like I can't find it anywhere but I do think that because I've made so much progress on this lipstick 
I think that I could actually pan it, which would be, again, pretty awesome. And so I feel like it makes sense to do and uh, it's totally a favorite in my collection. So it make, it like hurts my heart that I'll be done with it, but I think it does make sense. And I, at the end of the day, like I'm excited to be able to do that. I think that's pretty cool. So those are all the products that I hope to be able to move into my project pan this year. If not, there's still something that I will focus on in like a shop my stash or my current makeup basket. So no matter what, they will get usage because I've decided that I need to focus on all of these, but hopefully you guys will see them in an upcoming Project Pan video. Please let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and thank you so, so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe and I really appreciate that you're here and I will talk to you on my next video. Bye.